The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman falls in its South Atlantic Conference home opener by a final score of 4-2. to two. Andrew Rogers here with the head coach, Stephen Lyons, for the Eagles Sports Network. Coach, uh, competitive first half, scoreless at the break. You sneak a goal in there uh, early in the second half, but Coker scored right after that, uh, and their offense continued on from there. What did you see? Uh, one, to lead up to that goal and your opportunity uh, for your team, but then to what Coker was able to do to respond. Uh, yeah, I think, first of all, it uh, a lot of what happened in the game today is, is probably on me and the scheduling uh, for the week. Um, you know, I think it showed that uh, Coke were a very good team, deserved the win. Um, but you could tell that we were we were tired from the three games this week, and um, yeah, thought we did well to stay nil nil up to half time, like you say, and then um, change a few things. Uh, went out and got the goal. Then to concede so quickly afterwards um, really kind of deflated the group, I think, understandably, and. Uh, we didn't manage to kind of pick back up from then and get the energy that we needed. The shots were really in favor of them. I don't know what the final tally was, but they got a lot of them uh, today. Was that mainly the fatigue, or was it something uh, that midfield-wise or up front-wise you weren't able to keep enough possession to create uh, more chances than they had? Yeah, I mean, obviously credit to Coker again. Um, they, they, they're a good team. They, they played some really good football, and the movement was, was good. But, yeah, we did uh, turn over possession quite easily um, throughout the game, and good teams are going to punish you with that and, and Coker definitely did. Talk about Federico Simonetti, uh, saw a lot of shots today, makes his return to the line. I made eight saves though, a lot was headed toward his way. What did you like uh, from him and what he was able to do for a while, uh, especially to keep it scoreless and in this game? Yeah, we, we know what Feddy can bring and um, you know, obviously after the, the clean sheets that we've had, definitely disappointed with today, but um, can't change the result. Uh, the guys will, will get a couple of days off after that heavy schedule to, to rest and recover and We'll uh, yeah, get focused for Newbury on Saturday. Certainly uh, rest will be important over the next week because you've got the whole week off until next Saturday. Newbury comes to town. Is it as easy as just rest uh, to regroup or are there other things uh, you're going to focus on uh, with this week stretch off uh, to get ready for another conference match? Yeah, I think the guys that have played, played significant minutes, uh, it's, it's rest and recover. Um, but yeah, we have to get back on the uh, training field and, and um, improve in the areas that that we were not so good at today. And um, yeah, planning uh, prep for the game on, on Saturday. I almost forgot, but Thomas LaChapelle scores twice today. Uh, what did you like about the first goal, especially uh, to get the scoring started, but also to stay active uh, and to give you a second one there to show some life uh, toward the end of that game? What did you like about his performance? Yeah, I thought uh, both goals that we scored um, kind of showed the counter-attacking football that uh, we can play if needed. Um, even the second goal, you know, Antoine's made. You know, Dukesy's played a good ball into Antoine. Um, Antoine could have shot, but uh, unselfishly slotted it over to Thomas and, and, a, and a good finish. Uh, just a shame it was a little bit too late. All right, Coach, talk to you next week. Thank you. That's Carson Newman head coach Stephen Lyons. I'm Andrew Rogers, and this is the Eagles Sports Network.